This video is sponsored by Vetter Holsters. Their customers have given them a 5-star rating for comfort, performance, and customer service. Here's a Vetter Holster for my Glock 43X. They are proudly handcrafted in the U.S. and the rock-solid spring steel clip makes their light tuck and rapid tuck holsters ultra-tuckable so they virtually leave no print. They offer affordable prices without skimping on their high quality. Check them out at VetterHolsters.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. We are coming off a horrible three years of an ammo crisis. We saw skyrocketing prices, and we had a lot of people and manufacturers to blame for that. We saw a rise in new gun ownership, all of which needed ammo. We saw the Trump slump where people weren't worried about it, so these manufacturers, both ammo and gun manufacturers, were laying off people because they weren't selling their products. Eventually, they had to hire them back and retrain them to get out the guns and ammo that we needed. We saw price gouging. Once the supply and demand became really high, we saw price gouging from the online manufacturers made its way locally, and it became over double for a standard box of ammo. And to top it off, we saw scalpers and hoarders. Now, the hoarders are one thing. But the scalpers are the ones who bought up everything they possibly could for the fact that they could get a lot of money by reselling. And that really hurt the ammo industry and those who wanted the ammo. Like that was a major player in the shortage. But what we're seeing now is, I think, going to be even worse. We were just starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Ammo became more and more available. The price was inching its way very slowly down. And I think the future is going to be very bleak. It's going to halt. And why am I saying this? Well, if you look at the raw materials needed for a single round of ammo, all of those materials have skyrocketed. Brass, steel, aluminum. You talk to any builder, they will tell you that the raw materials that they need to complete their projects are double. We used to worry about the price of wood and the price of a case of toilet paper or whatever, and that's going to seem minimal in terms of metals. If you look at lead, lead is being distributed out to battery makers, all right? The, the whole green energy thing is... is a high priority now and and so we're seeing increase there too all this is a supply and demand thing the supply chain is a wreck transportation and transportation costs due to fuel that's a miserable nightmare now they're talking about the price of food becoming scarce and severely increased if we don't think this is going to affect ammo we are kidding ourselves primers primers never did come back to a point where they were affordable and available for reloaders. We look at gunpowder. That has increased. You're saying, well, of course, everything has increased. Well, my point is, right when things started to begin to decrease, it halted and it's going to make its way back up again. It's going to be hard to get. We had the greatest economy and within a year, everything went south. Everything went south. And now we're talking about these, these bans on imports, these situations where we can't get the things we need, the supply chain, and priorities are being made. And if we think the priority is going to be, hey, let's make a bunch of ammo with this stuff when we have all these other life essential needs out there, we're kidding ourselves. I think it will be available, but in short supply. And so what do you have? Well, when it's short supply, you have increased costs. And now you have the scalpers back at it. You have the ammo companies gouging. You have this a horrible situation where people are, are not shooting anymore. It's going to hurt the entire gun industry. And it is not going to be very satisfactory to us. I will tell you that. I recently picked up a case of tool ammo it was $340 for a case well over double of what it once was we always go back and say well this used to be this our new normal say for a box of nine millimeter is like 25 bucks that's the new normal for 45 you're looking at 
30 to 35 bucks. You know, it, 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 I don't know that it's healthy to go back and say, yeah, I used to pay this and now I pay that, blah, blah, blah. It's going to get worse and it's because of the raw materials. And it's also because we have a president who has no clue about the economy, does nothing but blame everybody else, when in fact, I think this guy, like, he ruined an economy in one year. You look at the price of fuel. You look at anything that's transported, it's increased. You look at any sector of this economy, it's decreased. And it's going to hit the ammo market. It already has. I think it's going to get worse. I think that right now it's still okay, but it's not going to be okay for long. I think that it it's going to be even worse than it was before. We're going to have those other things that made the ammo shortage, uh, supply and demand increase. And now I think we're going to have a whole new set of issues. I think the government very much is to blame. Guns will be available. We had a gun shortage. I think those, well, I know those are available. Like you can get guns right now. A little bit increased, not too bad. They started to come down too. But the ammo it takes to shoot them is going to be even worse. This is just me and my thoughts, but I think they're well-founded thoughts because if you look at all raw materials, they are very expensive and it will certainly hit, hit ammo to a major degree and we're going to be hurting. So I'm trying to pick up what I can and down a couple calibers. I need to get those and get back to the range, but it's going to be very expensive and it's going to make our other ammo shortage that crisis look lightweight compared to what we have coming in the future never intended on being doom and gloom but this is the scenario i truly believe we find ourselves in if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe